In this video, we are going to discuss calling a JavaScript function from an HTML element. Right here, we have a function called updateString. And that function takes its argument value right here and adds it to our string, our input string variable that we initialized when the page is first loaded. And then it resets our input box to whatever this input string is currently. Down in our form, we have an input right here that is a button. And that button, when it is clicked, we use the onClick attribute. So that is an action that the user does. They click that button. It calls our JavaScript update string passing this argument. So it passes that value to here and adds that to our input string. Now all of our buttons work similarly on this form. We get down here to the clear button. The clear button, instead of calling a method, just calls a JavaScript function, and it just accesses that input and sets its value to a blank string, and then resets input string. And you notice statements are once again separated by a semicolon, just like in JavaScript. The next one, the calculator button, resets our input value to this function call here, eval. Eval is a built-in JavaScript function that takes a string and calculates it. Takes this string, calculates it. Then we have our semicolon to end that statement, and then it resets the input string to a blank string. So if we look at our document here, let's do a 1 plus 37. When we hit our equal, it runs that eval, calculates it, and resets the value. We clear it out, it clears that value. And let's do an 8 times 9, 72. So it just builds that string and then evaluates it. And that is how you call a JavaScript function from an HTML tag.